Come along with me for a day in the life as a full-time work from home, stay at home, content creator, business owner, mother, two, and a hundred houseplants. Here's my agenda for today. Where's my phone? I need an air tag for my phone because I can never find it. So this is what's going on in my life. Get the kids ready, drop them off at school, work meetings, a lot of different projects, a million other things on the calendar. But I do need to get to the fact that my brand new greenhouse cabinet has fungus nets. Yay! If you've been following me along on my other socials, you'll know that 99% of my plant chores all happen after midnight. And in this video, you'll see why. Along with being a mom, running my own business, having two other jobs, and creating content, my life's a little crazy. But come along for the ride! So I walk into my daughter's room only to find a stegosaurus. Now feet that women take forever to dress, try dressing a five-year-old. It's like battling with freaking Goldilocks over here every single morning. Now you know those zen households where it's super peaceful as kids get ready? That's not us. I have about a 13% success rate in getting my daughter to put on her own socks in the morning. Now on to baby number two. There's a Korean expression that literally translates to son's fool and it describes a mother who is at the mercy of her baby boy. You'll see why. You're welcome. Let's go brush your teeth. He literally thanked me for putting on his clothes. I'm definitely a son's fool. There's a corresponding phrase that describes fathers who do it on their daughters too, which is also true. And this is where I tag team with my husband where he gives them breakfast while I run up and do about 20% of my 500 step Korean skincare routine. Jump into my uniform. After what seems like 100 hours, we're finally ready to leave the house and drop everybody off at school. Are you excited to go to school? No. And then when we get back, I have about 10 minutes before my first Zoom call starts, so I have to run up and finish putting on my makeup because I'm not about to look like Gollum from Lord of the Rings. When I was a teacher, I once overslept and didn't wear makeup to work one day, and the entire day, everybody kept asking me if I was okay because they thought I was sick. It was like in that movie Contagion where Gwyneth Paltrow plays like patient zero who's really sick, and the makeup department, all they had to do was just not put makeup on her. That was the craziest tangent. In case you wonder what I do for a living, I was a middle school principal, but now I work as an educational consultant. My husband and I are both lucky to work from home so we're taking a quick break to go to our favorite Cuban bakery. Yum nom 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 there has to be some sort of crack inside this because it's so good. Also, these water cups are really good for propagation, so I take them. Did you have a good day at school? This is a slow slide, Abby. It's so slow. Go up the slide. <laughs> Go. 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 All done. How was school? Good! Let's change your diapers! Where's my daughter? You fart. You fart? <laughs> and right about here is when I realized I had fungus nets inside the greenhouse. How dare they enter my greenhouse space? But I can't do anything right now because it's time to make dinner. This is my least favorite part of the day. Right when it hits around four o'clock and I have to figure out what to make for dinner is the time I dread the most. In a Korean household, slippers are mandatory. 
Spam haters don't come at me because this is essentially a staple in a Korean household, especially when you're making fried rice. And if you don't like spam, you are missing out on the finer things in life. She calls herself my sous chef, which is aptly named. I introduced kimchi early on to both my kids so that they can get used to spicy food because that's what we enjoy. And then we decided to just make a quick stop to go look at a lighted Christmas tree. Hi, it's me, Emmy. You're so pretty. Now it's the countdown to bedtime, every parent's dream. But first, they're before bed evening exercise. Just kidding. But we do have this walking treadmill and my kids always like going on it. So exciting to finally be free, and then I remember the gnats. So now it's time to finally address the gnat issue and also record at the same time. Ugh. I'm out of my anti-gnat water. Usually this is completely full. I normally have my nutrient solution in here with the anti-gnat drop so that I could just simply pump this water into my watering can, but not an option right now. I'm not gonna refill this at close to midnight. So new plan, just add the gnat drop in here and add water later when it's normal daytime hours. And here you could witness the ridiculousness that is me as I make reels. Because my style of content and editing requires about a million different shots from different angles, even just opening a jar of water takes forever. So many people ask me if my signature walk is in real time, and no, it's completely sped up. Nobody walks like that. So I ran out of yellow sticky traps, which is what I would normally use to catch the adults that are flying around. So I'm just going to stick this whole machine inside the greenhouse. This is one of those fan bug sucking things. There's going to be a light that turns on that the gnats are attracted to and then the fan inside is going to suck everything down and stick to this white sticky trap that's underneath on the bottom. Okay, so the anti gnat water requires consistency. Not all these plants need to be watered very often. I am going to add in some systemic granules or my fairy dust. People are pretty split on this. You can't find this everywhere and it can harm beneficial insects as well. I'm not worried about harming bees or anything because these plants are all just going to live in the greenhouse. They're going to be away from my kids. So I'm okay with using it responsibly, of course. I never dump the water down the drain. I just dump into an area in my yard where there's no plants. It's just rocks and dirt so that there's no chance of any beneficial insects coming along and ingesting this. Okay, checking back in three days later. I actually haven't seen signs of a single gnat. I am gonna check if there's any bugs inside that bug fan. Gnat-free 
Time to celebrate. And reward myself with a nap. But then my son woke up, so I have to get up again. Thanks for watching my chaotic life. Subscribe if you enjoy.